Hello everyone and welcome to Gumno YouTube channel. Today topic I would like to show you all about the preventing routing updates through interface. Well, before we start to configure R1 and R2 router to prevent routing updates through interface, as you can see in my network diagram, the first thing you need to know why we need to prevent routing updates through interface. We have two important reasons that we need to prevent routing updates through interfaces. The first reason is bandwidth efficiency and the second reason is security. Okay, so let's go to talk detail about this reason all together. One, bandwidth efficiency. Managing network bandwidth is becoming more and more critical. There is no notion to send out routing cable content through any interfaces of the router that are not connected to another router. Why? Because devices such as switch, hub, and undivide which are connected to this interface of the router don't use this information, network information. Okay? So, you need to prevent your router to send routing updates through this interface to use bandwidth efficiency. To do this, you have to configure passive interface on any interfaces that connect the router to Ethernet LAN by using passive interface command. So, okay. The passive interface command tells the dynamic routing protocol such as RIP, EIGOP, and OSPF not to send network advertisements through interface, but the interface still listen to routing update from another router. Okay, as you can see in my network diagram, we have two router connect together, router 1 and router 2. These two router have two interface, as you can see, router 1 have fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, and serial file slash zero. Router 2 also have two interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and serial file slash 0. Okay, when you already configure interface of these two router and you already configure reverse 2 on these two router, the two router will use RIP version 2 to send dynamic routing update through these two interface. For example, all one router will send routing update through fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and serial file slash 0. Okay? All two router will also send routing update through fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and serial file slash zero. Okay, so you need to configure fast Ethernet zero slash zero of the O1 and O2 router to be passive interface to prevent routing update through the interface because device such like as switch, hub, or undivide include computer server that connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 of the router 1 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 of the router 2 no need routing update information okay because this device don't use this information so to use bandwidth efficiency you need to configure the interface of router that connect to the LAN to be passive interface. Okay, so now we will move to talk about the second reason, security. Okay, 
two security reason. As soon as the RIP configuration leads a network command for a given network, RIP immediately begins to send advertisement out all interfaces that belong to that network. The update may not be needed on all portions of a network. For example, is the netline interface part this update to every device on each network okay, segment which produces unnecessary traffic. The routing update could also be intercepted by any devices. This makes the network less secure. So to improve your network security, you have to configure passive interface on any unnecessary interfaces of your router. Okay, as you can see in the network diagram, Fah is net zero slash zero of the router one and Fah is net zero slash zero of the router two if you don't config the interface to be a passive interface. The router 1 and the router 2 will send routing updates through the interface. So all devices that connect to this interface can intercept. Okay, so your network may be less secure. Okay, so now after we already talked the reason that we need to config router to prevent routing update through interface. So now we will move to step to configure, okay? Okay, step. You can follow this step to configure router to prevent routing update through interface. Step one, configure host name, password, interfaces, and RIP version two on the router, okay? On the router, enter global configuration mode and configure the host name as shown in diagram. Okay, as shown in diagram. This router, we will config the host name as O1 and this router, we will config host name as O2. So, okay. Then, configure console, virtual terminal and enable secret password for security login. And next, configure interfaces and routing according to the diagram. Make sure to copy running config to the startup config on each router. So, okay, so now let's start to configure hostname, password, interface, and RIP version 2 on the router. Okay, so now we go to the IIS of each router. Okay, so I start from the router one. Okay, okay, so you need to right click on the O1 router and then you click uh, start. Okay, and then right click again and click on the console. Okay, to log into the O1 operating system. Okay, okay, and then wait a moment. Okay, as you can see, now we are on the privilege execute mode of the O1 router. Okay, so we can go to the global configuration mode to config. For the name O1, we already configured, so we no need to config host name again. We just config uh, password, interface, and RIP version 2. So, okay. Okay, before the, we start to config, I change the setting to increase the phone to easy to, okay, to easy to uh, view, okay. Okay, so now we start to configure all together. Okay, as you can see, now we are on the privilege execute mode, so we move to global execute mode with the command conf t. Okay, now we are on global configuration mode, so we start to configure console password with the command line console zero. 
okay and then command password okay I enter the password Cisco and then log in okay now our console port will protect by Cisco password okay by the password Cisco okay so when you say log into operating system of our router through console port user must to enter password correctly in case user enter the password incorrect user cannot access the user mode of the router okay so we we tie command exit to exit from the specific mode and then we configure password to protect remote access okay line we device zero slash four sorry zero space four and then password i enter password class okay and then log in okay and then we tie command exit to exit from the specific mode to global configuration mode and then we continue to configure enable secret password with the command enable secret my secret password i put love add i put love commands okay okay so now i already configure password of the router one okay and then i go to configure interface okay so with the command int file is net zero slash zero Okay, as you can see in diagram, file is net zero slash zero of of one router. We will assign IP 192.168.1.1 with the subnet mask slash 24. Okay, IP address 192.168.1.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.255. .255 .255 zero and then open the interface with the command no shutdown okay and then continue to config another interface interface serial five slash zero ip address ip space address as you can see in the picture serial five slash zero ip 192.1 68.2.1 with the sub with the subnet mask slash 30 okay so we tie the ip 192.168.2.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.252 and then open this interface with the command no shutdown okay as you can see Serial file slash zero of the all one router is DCE, so need clock rate. Okay, so we need to config clock rate to this interface. Serial file slash zero. Okay, with the command clock rate. Okay, clock rate six T four zero zero zero. Okay. Okay, and then we type command exit to exit from specific mode to global mode, and we will move to configure. Okay, we will move to configure RIP version two. Okay, RIP version two. Okay, so now we start to configure RIP version two of the all one router. Okay, with the command router RIP. Sorry router rip version 2 okay and then network okay as you can see in diagram we have two network that are directly connected network okay of the all one router network 192.1 192.1.1 192 and network 192.168 dot two dot zero okay so we need to advertise these two network one nine two 
192.168.1.0 and at the network 192.168.2.1 and then we turn off the auto summarization with the command no no auto okay no auto summary okay so now i already configured the router one okay and then we exit to privilege execute mode to save the router configuration file from rem to nvrem with the command copies copies running config start sorry copy running config start up config and then enter confirm okay so now we already finished config all one router okay so we will move to config all two router all together okay so you need to right click on the all two router and then you start okay and then right click again and click on the console okay i go to change the phone to be clear okay to be more clear easy to okay easy to use okay more easy to use okay Okay, as you can see now, we are on the privilege execute mode of the R2 router. So we will go to global configuration mode to configure password, interface, and RIP version 2. Okay, so let's start now. So from privilege execute mode to global configuration mode, we enter the command con f space t okay now we are on global configuration mode so we start to configure console password with the command line console zero okay and then command password i enter the console password cisco okay and then log in okay and then we exit from the specific mode to global mode to continue configure virtual terminal password with the command line vty04 i select file line that allow remote user can remote access to or to router okay file user can remote access to or to router at the same time okay password class okay and then i sit oh, sorry log in and i sit from the specific mode to configure enable secret password with the command enable secret okay my enable secret password love commands okay okay now we already configure password on all two router and Next, we will move to configure interface with the command interface 5.0.0 IP address 192.168.3.1 As you can see in diagram, okay, with the subnet mask slash 24, okay, 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
of the O2 router. And now we start to configure a RIP version 2. Okay, so we enter the exit command to exit from specific mode to global configuration mode because all configurations start from global configuration mode. Okay, so now we start to configure RIP with the command router RIP version okay, 2 network. Okay, as you can see, directly connected network of the O2 router is, oh, sorry, O2 router have two network are directly connected network. Network 192.168.2.0 and network 192.168.3.0. Okay, so we need to advertise these two networks on the routers too. Okay, 192.168.2.0 and another network. 192.168.3.0. Okay, so now we have finished config RIP version 2 on the router 2. So we start to save file configuration from RAM to NVRAM with the command copy running config start up config. Okay, okay, so now we will move to the step 2. Okay, step two, configure the computer with the proper IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Okay, and then test the configuration by pinging all interfaces from each computer to see the result. The result can successful or cannot successful. Okay, if the pinging is not successful, Troubleshoot the configuration. Okay, so let's start the step two all together. Okay, as you can see in my diagram, I have two computers that connect to our network. Computer server 2012 and computer PC with Windows 7 operating system. Okay. Okay, so I check to see I already config IP address to this computer or not yet. Okay, so you can check to see. Okay, on my computer server 2012, I already config IP address. As you can see, 192.168.1.2, subnet mask 255.255.255.0, default gateway 192.168.1.1. And then I server 192.168.1.2. Okay, so I already configure proper IP address on the server 2000 machine. Okay, so now move to the client machine with the Windows 7 operating system. Okay, I check to see I already configure IP or not yet. Okay. As you can see, I already configured IP 192.168.3.2, subnet mask, okay, default gateway, and DNS. Okay, so now the step two for the config IP address to the computer, we already configured, so we can test from the computer to all interface. Okay, so from the computer. Windows 7 operating system, we go to CMDs, okay? And then you can ping to the fast internet 0 slash 0 of the O2 router with the IP 3 slash 192.168.3.1. Okay, as you can see, replies, it means that our computer now can communicate with fast internet 0 slash 0 of the Router 2. Okay, and then we ping IP of the serial file slash 0 with the IP 192.168.2.2 from the PC Windows 7 operating system. Okay, ping 192.168.2.2. Okay, as you can see, have replies. Okay, so the ping 
is successful. Okay, so now we try to ping IP of the serial 5.0 of the router 1 with the IP 192.168.2.1, okay, from the Windows 7 operating system machine, okay, .1, okay, you can see replies, okay, and then we ping IP of the 5 Ethernet 0 slash 0 of the router 1 with the IP 192.168.1.1, okay, ping 192.168.1.1, Okay, as you can see, the result is reply from that machine, uh, sorry, from that IP. Okay, and then we ping the IP of the server 2012 with the IP 192.168.1.2. Okay, so start to ping now. Ping 192.168.1.2. Okay, as you can see, we get a fly from the machine with the IP 192.168.1.2. Okay, so we can test to access from the PC with the Windows 1 operating system to access to the website on the server 2012. Okay, on Server 2012 machine, I have one website with domain name www.lovecommerce.com. Okay, so you can, you can access from the Windows 1 operating system machine to this website. Okay, so let's start to access now. Okay, so we open Browser, okay, now I already open browser and then type domain name www.lovecommerce.com. Okay, way to see, okay, as you can see, we can access to the website on the server 2012 machine. Okay, this is my website, okay, I just display message like this. Welcome to www.lovecommerce.com website. Lecture Kimno, YouTube channel name Kimno. Okay, you can find more with all on my YouTube channel. You just go to YouTube and then search with the keyword Kimno. Okay, so you can see my YouTube channel. Okay, so now we will move to the next. We will move to the step three check basic routing configuration. Okay. You just enter the show IP root command on each router to verify. Okay, okay. So let's start now. Okay, on the router one. Okay, we are now on the privilege execute mode, so we can type the command show IP root to verify the routing information. As you can see, this is the routing information of the R1 router, so R1 router know all the network, okay, as you can see, this network 192.168.1.0 is directly connected network, okay, go to this network through 5 Ethernet 0 slash 0, okay, this network, okay, okay, and this network is also directly connected, 192.168.2.0 Go to this network through interface serial file slash zero. Okay, this network. Okay, and remote network is 192.168.3.0 This is this network is remote network of one router learn by using RIP protocol as you can see by using RIP Okay, go to this network through the serial file slash zero. Okay, from all one router to this remote network, this stand is one router. Okay, so this is the remote network 
this remote network okay of the router one go to this network from router one through interface serial file slash zero this stand one router router two so, okay so you can also check the routing information of the router two to verify with the command show ip root okay as you can see all two router know all network information Okay, this network 192.168.1.0 is remote network. Router 2 learn from RIP, okay, learn from RIP protocol, as you can see. Go to this remote network through interface serial file slash zero of the router 2. Distance from router 2 to this remote network, one router, router one, okay. And this network, and network directly connected network. Okay, so this is the routing information that store in routing table of the router two. Okay, so now we will move to the next step. Okay, step four, observe RIP routing update. Okay, from each router, use the debug IP RIP command to verify the route to verify that the router is sending update out the interface file is net zero slash zero and file serial file slash zero okay so on each router go to privilege execute mode and then you type the command debug ip rip okay to verify that the router is sending update out through this interface okay and another command that function with RIP as the following, debug IP RIP event to see RIP event, and debug IP RIP database to check RIP database. Okay, after you already monitor, you can turn off all debug with the command and debug all or no debug all. Okay, so let's start to the step four, observe a RIP routing update. Okay, so I start from the R1 router. Okay, so from the privilege execute mode, you type the command debug IP RIP. Okay, okay, as you can see, RIP protocol debugging is on now. So okay, okay, so you need to wait a moment to see the root update through the interface. Five is net zero slash zero and serial five slash zero. Okay, because five is net zero slash zero, we not yet configure it to be passive interface. Okay, okay. As you can see, RIP send version two update to this destination with via serial five slash zero and RIP version two send and RIP sending version 2 update via file Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, so you can see it send update through the two interface, serial file slash 0 and file Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, so move to the router 2 to verify. Okay, you can type the command debug IP RIP. Okay, to see the reprocess, okay, routing update between all one and all two routers, okay. As you can see, Ripson being update version two via file is sorry, serial file slash zero, okay. Okay, and Rip sending version two update through file Ethernet zero slash zero, okay? And this is received from the router one, okay, send and receive, okay? So it means that our router one and router two that we have config RIP version two, these two router use RIP version two to exchange routing information with each other, okay? So this router no network of each other, okay? 
Okay, and then we can tie the command debug IP rip event to see the rip event and with an and command debug IP rip database to see. Okay, so now I start from the all one router with the command debug IP rip event. Okay. Okay, as you can see rip event debugging is on. Okay, as you can see event. Okay, send rip update. Okay, via file is net zero slash zero. Okay, and receive update. Okay, rip building update in trees. Okay, network one nine two dot one six eight dot three dot zero. Okay, with the matrix okay. Okay, and then you can type the command debug 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 IP rip database okay to see rip database okay as you can see rip database even on okay it's on now okay so this is the okay rip database okay okay as you can see this network okay 192.168.3.0 okay this network all one router learn from all two routers okay okay so this is the another commands okay another debug command that function with the rip okay debug ip rip event to see rip event, okay, and debug IP rip database, okay, to see rip database, okay, and then you can turn off all debug with the command and debug and debug all, okay, okay, as you can see, all possible debugging has been turned off, okay, okay, if you difficult to monitor many debug at the same time you can use one by one okay for example i use command debug sorry debug ip rip event to see the rip event okay uh, you can see rip event debugging is on and you wait a moment to see the output of the debug IP rip event. Okay, as uh, you can see, this is the output of the debug IP rip event. Okay, rip sun version 2 update to destination. Okay, 24.0.0.9 via serial file slash zero. Okay. And rip also, okay, send ding version 2 update to far Ethernet 0 slash 0, okay? And rip receive version 2 update from serial file slash 0, okay? So this is the output of the rip of the command debug IP rip event, okay? To check the event that rip, okay, can send and receive from neighbor router, okay? Send to neighbor and receive from the neighbor, okay? So after you verify the rip event, you can turn it off with the command no debug IP rip event, okay? And then you can tie the command debug IP rip database to see IP rip database, okay? Debug IP rip database, okay? Okay, as you can see, rip database, even debugging is on now. So you wait a moment 
to see the output of the debug IP lib database. Okay, so you need to wait a moment. Okay. Okay, as you can see, uh, lib database network update with the network address 192.168.3.0 succeed. Okay, this network learn from the R2 router. Okay, okay, network 192.168.3.0. Okay, this network that R1 router learn from the R2 router by using RIP version 2 protocol. Okay, so this is the output of the debug IP RIP database. Okay, okay, RIP database adding, okay, adding this network, okay, via uh, 192.168.2.2 on the serial 5 slash 0 to RIP database. Okay, so when another computer send message to the to the computer on the network 192.168.3.0 or one router will forward the message to serial file slash zero okay forward the message exit from the serial file slash zero to this ip okay this ip is the IP address of the serial file slash zero of the router two. Okay, so you can use the command debug IP RIP database to see RIP database. Okay, I, I show you in my okay or one console screen. Okay, so you can check you can check on the router two. Okay, router two you can check this. Okay, so because router one and router two is the same, so I no need to span. I no need to check on the router two. So on the router two, you can turn off debug. Okay, with the command no debugs all. Okay, turn all debugs. Okay, okay. As you can see, all possible debugging has been turned off. Okay, so now we will move to the step five okay stop routing update through interface five is the net zero slash zero of each router to use bandwidth efficiencies okay on console session of the each router up on console session of each router enter global configuration mode tie router rip command and then enter passive interface for Ethernet 0 slash 0 command. This will prevent each router from advertising its route to this interface for Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay? To confirm this, you debug IP RIP event command on each router. Verify from the output that the router is not sent update out that interface. Okay, so after you config fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 of router O1 and of router O2, router O1 and router O2 will not send root update through fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, you can tie the command debug IP rip even to see, okay, the result. Okay. Okay, and after you complete monitor the output of the debug IP RIP event, you can uh, turn it off with the command no debug all. Okay, so let's start to the step five altogether to stop routing updates through interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 of each router to use bandwidth efficiency. Okay, so I start from the R1 router first. Okay. Okay, I turn off the debug IP RIP database with the command no debugs IP RIP database. Okay, 
and then we go to global configuration mode to configure fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 of all one router to be a passive interface, okay? To prevent routing update through the interface, okay? So we select, okay, so we go to, we, we tie the command router rip, okay? And then command passive, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, okay? Okay, and then we move to the R2 router to configure passive interface. Interf uh, sorry, router rip passive fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay. Okay, after we already configure passive interface on router 1 and router 2, then we can tie the debug IP rip event to see the to see the process, okay, to see that the interface will not send routing update, okay, because we already configured the interface to be passive interface. Okay, so let's start from the router one first, okay. Okay, the bugs the bug IP rip even okay okay as you can see rip even debugging is on now okay and you need to wait a moment to see the output of the uh, debug ip rip even okay so wait a moment Okay, as you can see now, RIP sending version 2 update via only serial file slash zero, okay? Via only serial file slash zero, okay? You don't see RIP send update through file Ethernet zero slash zero. The reason because we already configure Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 of all one router to be passive interface. Okay, so now we can turn debug IP rip even off. Okay, with the command no debugs IP rip even. Okay, and then we will move to the R2 router. Okay, to check to see. Okay the process of the passive interface. Okay, so you can type the command debug IP rip even, okay? To see rip version two now will not send update through fast Ethernet zero slash zero of router two because fast Ethernet zero slash zero of router two, we already configured to be passive interface, okay? So wait a moment to see the output of the debug IP rip event, okay? Okay, wait a moment. Okay, as you can see, rip sending version two update via only, okay? Serial file slash zero. Rip Donson version two update via fast Ethernet zero slash zero because fast Ethernet zero slash zero we already config as passive interface. Okay, so this is the reason. Okay, this is the result that we tie the command I debug IP rip even, okay, to see the sending update and receiving update, okay, which interface that rip will send update and which interface that rip will receive update. Okay, okay, so my video today is now finished. 
Okay, finally, I would like to say, don't forget to subscribe and share my video. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye, see you next time.